Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to add accordions or toggles in Squarespace. Uh, this one will require no code uh, because Squarespace is awesome and added this new feature uh, quite recently. Uh, but I want to show you how it works, how to add it, uh, some changes you can make to it. Uh, and yeah. So we are on the new Squarespace Fluid Engine. However, I believe this is still available for like the classic editor on 7.1. So let's get started. So we are gonna should open it up to click edit. So um, you can do this on any page. Uh, let's just, no, we're gonna should add on. So we are gonna go to add block. Now, they just added this quite recently, so we are gonna hit accordion. And pretty much just like that, you can add accordions or toggles now. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to customize it um, or how like you can change certain layouts. So uh, we are gonna do edit. Um, and let's start by like deleting some of them. You can add, I wanna say like 10 or so. Uh, it's a good amount of toggle, so uh, you can use this uh, for like your frequently asked questions, if you have information you want to hide, um, for like descriptions, for extra details. There's a lot of ways you can use this, um, but uh, you can click accordion item and then this is where you change the title. So I'm gonna use it as a frequently asked question. Let's put number one. Um, how, oh, well this is the description. So this is how you add accordions or toggles in Squarespace Fluid Engine or 10.1. Um, so you pretty much have this set, you add your description here, and it closes. Now you do have some really cool features here, so let's go to design. So first you can change the text, you can change to a paragraph, depending on the font choices and sizes. Change the alignment of the text, and then same for the paragraph, or for the description, you can change this. Uh, change the width of it, how much space you'd like, uh, how much padding you'd like, and then um, if there's any alignment uh, updates you'd like to make. Now you can also, if there's a first item, you can expand the first one. So let me go here and just add an item real quick. So you can see that the first one is open, but the second one is closed. So you can have that as an option. If you want them all closed, you know, remove that. If you want multiple uh, items open, so let's say, I'm gonna have to do this on an example. Let me save this real quick. So, you can have all of them open at the same time versus one being having to be open and the other one closing immediately. So that's that option. Let me go back to edit. If you want dividers, so, or lines, you can do show first, show last, Uh, thickness, opacity. So you have a couple different options there. You can change the icon to either a plus or an arrow, which is kind of cool. Change the icon size and thickness. Icon placement, if you want it to the left or the right. Row padding, so how much space is between each of them. If you click here, you can add a more custom option. 
And then if you want a background, so like if you want a different background color or something, you can do that. Cool. Um, on Fluid Engine, you can just quickly drag and resize. So these can be centered. Or if you want, let's say, like two rows, you can go to add block, add another accordion, and then this can be on the side. So you have like two columns. Um, and yeah, so, oh, and then if you have a background, you can add a radius. So if you want a different shape or to kind of round those corners a little bit, uh, you can do that. Totally up to you. Okay, well that's how you add an accordion and how to update that um, and a couple of fun features it has. So take a look, check it out, add those in. Um, again, no code, so it's free and easy to use. Thanks so much.